Hey guys, welcome back to OB Outdoors. This is going to be a great episode today. Why? Because we are schooling Lake Winnebago. ourselves our first uh, keeper eye. That is a decent crappie right there. I'll definitely be marking this one y'all as a success. All right, guys, well, we are out on Lake Winnebago right now. All right, it's January 24th, 2015. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm putting in the work here, trying to find some fish. It's my second time out here this year. Um, I was out last weekend, checking the eyes, a couple different spots and whatnot with no, no real action to speak of. So uh, today we're gonna definitely put in the work, try to find these fish and, uh, you know, get enough uh, footage for you guys for a decent uh, decent episode or fishing report or what have you. So. Um, been doing a lot of work on the side of this snowmobile. I usually don't fish off the side of the sled here, um, but I'm um, just trying to find some active fish. And uh, this is our fourth or fifth spot. Have got a few small eyes uh, coming on number five jigging wraps, but uh, you know that's just not the action that we're looking for. So we're gonna keep moving till we find an active school. I loved fishing Poygan a few weeks ago. That was non-stop lights out action. So hopefully we're gonna get on some of that, uh, but uh, I guess time will tell. So I'm gonna get in the shack here, get warm, and uh, hopefully jig a few fish. Just barely got. Well, oh, there's a walleye. Is it a big one? No. It's a dink. Couple cigars already today. Just showing up and pounding on it. But hey, we're putting fish on the ice. That's all that matters. I have a little fun with these guys. And this is awesome. When I catch these, I love this because I know that our fishery is sitting very, very nice because we've got a ton of little guys out in a system like this. So as I'm using spoon baits here, I like to be really aggressive with the presentation here. I love to pound that bait, no matter how big or how small it is, I just love to pound it because you know we're on the wastelands of Winnebago here and uh, you need something to call them in. So otherwise you're gonna be moving and moving and moving constantly, which technically uh, usually are anyways, but if you can bring them in, it really cuts down your traveling and searching time. Now when I get a mark come up on the screen, I'll slowly jiggle it up, maybe throw in a couple little pops. And if they don't commit, I'm dropping right back down past them, maybe even hitting the bottom and working them back up. It's got a little bit better thump to it. Why you just inhale that? And there's more down there, of course. I have been switching back and forth on all of my baits. And well, this is finally doing it. I gotta hurry up and try to get back down. Went from a number three jigging wrap to a number five jigging wrap. To cast master with spikes, to cast master without spikes. Still fish down on the flasher. And now I'm on a number two shad wrap. Oh, they're right on it. Oh my god. This is just nuts. Look at this. This whole bottom is just full of fish. I mean, you guys are seeing this. This thing is just insane. Look at them come. Oh, here we go. We gotta hurry up. We gotta hurry up. We are on a nice school. Oh no, he he got off. He got off. Oh, we are on a nice school right now. Oh yes, schooling bagel baby. Now see, you could probably fish a few of these out of this school, but the trick is keeping them all there. Now I am horsing these in, which I shouldn't be doing with these small hooks on it, but. We have a fish still down all over there. And, oh my god, you guys are seeing this. This is just insane. This are the, these are the days that we fish for. Oh my god. Oh, don't, don't leave. Don't leave, baby. 
As long as we can keep them entertained yet, they will stick around. Here we go again. Here we go, right on it. Oh, this is just great. This is what we want. Still have fish down there. This is why we keep moving. And this is just so much fun. <laughs> such a tiny little bait, such a tiny little bait. Fish still on the flasher, coming back up, let's see. Oh no, no. That was just a massive school. We still have fish on the school right now, but. So now they're gone, they're completely off the flasher. Oh, here we come back again. I was just gonna say, you gotta start jigging aggressively to pull up few more. Oh, here we go, here we go. The frenzy has started. The frenzy has started. And here we go again. Oh, this is so great. Using this tiny little hook that I'm using, I shouldn't be forcing these up. But, like I said, the trick is, you gotta get on them. And you gotta keep this frenzy going. Another one. Still on the flasher, still on the flasher. Oh, this is great. Get down ASAP. We're gonna pull some more fish out here, you watch. Here we go. Now you guys are gonna get all this real time, not even clipped. Oh my god. Oh, missed that one. Look at this, just a full Christmas tree. Just a full Christmas tree. Oh, now see, that one was coming back up. We're gonna drop right past all of them. Oh, he dropped, got that one on the fall. They are just inhaling this little shad wrap. Oh. Still fish down there. I mean, this is nonstop action, all right? Nonstop. Switching your baits, jigging aggressively, moving, all keys to success on the Winnebago system. This might be the end of the school. Non-stop action. I got about a half a bucket in here before they even came up. Oh man, this is just nuts. Okay, fish are not on a flasher, jigging aggressively here. Just pounding, just pounding that bait. Trying to get a few, here we go. Oh, trying to get a few of those fish to swing back. You gotta play with they, and here we are. They are they are thick on them. We're just dropping right past them. You gotta play with that lateral line. Oh, might be getting a couple smaller ones in here. All right, I only got one fish on the flasher now, so I'm gonna. Oh, two. This is just awesome. This is just awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Get back down, quick, quick, quick. I mean, you guys are seeing this practically in real time, all right? Oh man, I'm not even down yet, and I got fish on there. You gotta keep this school around. Sometimes, you know, you could catch a few more, but over the time period that it's gonna take uh, to find more schools, I guess throwing a few out is definitely worth it. Because I got a couple fish right now on there. And instead of just playing with one fish or whatever, I'm jigging more aggressively to keep those, to call in more fish and get these fish continuously moving to add into their school. Because there's only a few down there right now. A ah. few down there right now, but we gotta get some more in there. Ah. One more down there yet. This is how you school Winnebago. All right, so as soon as I get some downtime here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump on the Facebook page, facebook.com slash will be outdoors like you guys are seeing there. And uh, I'm gonna put a picture up and uh, a few pictures up and uh, let, uh, let everyone know that I'm on a decent bite right now. 
and uh, if they are out on the lake and if they're one of the few that are always active on the page, I'm going to shoot them in a, a little page message and uh, give them exact GPS coordinates so they can come out here and have a little bit of fun before the, the action dies off. But uh, if you guys want to be involved with that, jump on the Facebook page, facebook.com slash obioutdoors. Like the page and be active in the page, and you could get some under-the-table fishing tips for me. Oh, they are back. This is a big white bass. Can hardly get him in the hole. Oh, look at the size of that one, huh? Tiny little jigging wrap just shoved right in his mouth there. Oh, you can't beat it, guys. You just can't beat it. Keep moving, pounding those baits, switching your baits, and eventually you'll get on some decent bites. Haha, <laughs> right. Oh, picked it up on the fall. Another big white bass. Oh, just inhaling it. That one barely, barely got it. Oh, this is so much fun. Oh, still fish down there, baby. This is what you call an old baby moment on OB Outdoors. All right, guys. Well, I wanted to touch on this bait. I think over the last week I received over 200 emails, Facebook messages, um, lake link messages and what have you. I'm sorry if I didn't get back to you. I had so many and I was trying to surf through them quick and then go back and answer them as best as I could. Um, a lot of the emails, uh, I guess, surrounded guiding. I don't guide, all right? There's so many great guides in the area, all right? I'm not gonna name any, um, but there's another Facebook message. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna name uh, any guides, but uh, there are a lot of great guides uh, in the area. The second thing is uh, bait selection, all right? Um, I got questions, how do I know if I should change a bait? Should I go a higher size of a bait or a lighter bait or you know what have you? I'm gonna give this little, I guess, totem pole of importance in my opinion. Now you can take it or leave it, this is what I do. Obviously you guys are seeing the proof in the pudding, so um, you know it works for me. Um, I think the type of bait is gonna be the number one. Whether it's a swimming bait, uh, blade bait, um, you know, what have you, those different genres of baits are gonna make a, uh, a big difference, all right, what the fish are reacting to. I think the second thing is going to be the size of the bait. Whether going up a size or going down a size, it's all gonna depend on how the fish are acting when they're underneath you and you're watching them on your flasher, all right? And I got a fish down there right now, so we're gonna drop down while I try to finish this spiel here. Um, and I think the last thing is gonna be color. Okay, I'm, you know, you guys are seeing pretty much the same colors that I'm using uh, nonstop um, and not really switching them up. Here we go. Now, if you're seeing fish, come up, sniff it, you know, try switching up that, oh, just missed them. Try sw switching up the size, okay? Whether it's up a size or down a size, it's a 50-50 shot and hopefully you make the right decision. Another big white bass. This is a chunky one right here. Still got more down there. I gotta start throwing these back here pretty soon. Like I said, I can't fit them in the bucket anymore. And I only keep fish for a certain, I only keep fish for the first part of the year, just so I have enough fish to last me through family fish fries and whatnot. And so that I'm not cleaning fish every time I'm out, and I'm not taking more than what I'm able to consume. All right. All right, guys, if you want to know more information on how I attack the Lake Winnebago system, jump onto my website, obioutdoors.com, and underneath the articles tab. Oh, jeez. We are just getting hooked up here. This is nuts. Underneath the articles tab, you're going to find uh, my latest article in the magazine, um, Hard Water Tactics to the Lake Winnebago System. And I'm going to talk about, you know, so many different, oh, jeez. Here, I'm talking, trying not to fish, all right? So jump onto the website, OB Out. Oh, <laughs> this is, I can't even talk. I'm getting bit up here, all right? Um, in that article, I'm going to talk about how, 
how I attack the Lake Winnebago system and all the different tactics and techniques that I use to help put fish on the ice. How I move, so many other different aspects, all right? If you never heard of Badger Sports and Magazine, it's a pretty cool magazine. Uh, it's based right out of Oshkosh, all right? Um, so you're going to get a lot of area-specific information in there. And uh, the best part is it's not all fishing. It moves with the, with the season. So during hunting season, you're almost guaranteed to get uh, some hunting information. So that's pretty cool. So if you haven't heard of them, check them out, badgersportsman.com. All right, guys, awesome, awesome morning here on Lake Winnebago. All right, it's just getting to be about 1 o'clock right now. We got the cloud cover coming in. We got a snowstorm coming, which is great news for all you snowmobile fans out there, just like me. Oh, we got some fish coming up right now. This has just been lights out action all day long, all day long. Just awesome. I got a mess on this one. But tons of footage, tons of fish. If you guys like what you saw, click that subscribe button that's on the top of your page there, and uh, you'll get notified anytime I upload a fishing video or info segment. If you're not viewing me from a YouTube player, you can type in that address that's at the bottom of your page there and get notified anytime I upload a fishing video or info segment as well. So highly suggest you subscribe, and uh, you'll be able to see me catch more fish on a regular basis, all right? I'm just letting these fish go. It was a great morning. You know, we got a ton of fish. You know, if, uh, you know, if I had more time, I'd be out here catching and releasing the rest of the day. But uh, I'm going to get home, clean some fish, and relax for the rest of the night. So I guess until next time, tight lines, stay dry. See, this is a nice guy, and it is. Look at that. All right. He came down about two feet underneath the ice. 